Now, you probably know that exercise benefits your body in many different ways, from strengthening your muscles to losing weight. You also may have found working out to be a great activity to improve your mood. But working out benefits us in another lesser known way. Exercise has been found to promote the growth of new cells in our brains. I'm Dr. Yuande Pierce, a neuroscience researcher who studies the many different functions of the brain. It used to be commonly thought that we're born with a finite number of cells in our brain. But fairly recently, studies have found that our brains actually have the ability to create new neurons throughout our lives through a process called neurogenesis. Now, there are still a number of things we still don't know about this process because we can't exactly peek into a healthy living person's brain. But thanks to a number of studies in mice, which are remarkably similar to humans in terms of brain development, a direct relationship between physical activity and neurogenesis has been found. It's worth noting that there are a number of environmental factors that have been found to impact neurogenesis in both positive and negative ways. Learning, exercise, and a healthy diet have all been linked to neurogenesis. Inversely, things like stress, sleep deprivation, and a poor diet have been found to lead to a decline in neurogenic activity. But in terms of being easily accessible and free, exercise is one of the best ways you can promote the creation of neurons in the brain. Exercise is also a great way to increase activity throughout the brain, which triggers the formation of new connections. This is also extremely important because new neurons on their own are fairly useless until they get woven into your brain's inner circuitry. Recent studies have found that these new neurons are mostly found in a part of the brain called the hippocampus, which is responsible for helping us learn and remember new things. It also plays a big role in regulating our emotions. One of the first studies looking at the impact of exercise on adult neurogenesis showed that mice who had a will in their cage had significantly more neurons than mice that did not. Since then, hippocampal neurogenesis in rodents as a function of exercise has been extensively demonstrated and replicated. It's estimated that we produce around 700 new neurons in this area a day. So by the time we're 50, all the cells in our hippocampus have been fully replaced. This is great news because a number of neurodegenerative diseases that affect our memory, like Alzheimer's or dementia, are related to a natural decline in the hippocampus as we age. Interestingly, studies have also shown that using drugs to replicate the physiological changes triggered by exercise fails to improve our memory in the same way. Because this field of research is still fairly new, Less is known about the optimal duration, intensity, and type of exercise that's best in terms of promoting neurogenesis. In an attempt to figure this out, one study put a group of adult male rats on two different exercise regimens. One group completed high-intensity interval training, while the other completed aerobic workouts. And scientists found that only the mice who completed aerobic exercise showed an increased growth in the hippocampus. So the science seems to show that the positive effects of exercise stem from increasing blood flow to the brain by any means. When we increase the blood flow to the brain, our brain has more oxygen to function optimally. So any aerobic activity, like running, dancing, or fast-paced walking, can have a positive effect in terms of growing new neurons for your brain. Scientists have also found that these exercise-related improvements are dependent on getting regular exercise. It has been shown that regular sessions of 45 to 60 minutes of regular exercise can dramatically improve cognitive function in adults over the age of 50. Even low commitment exercise routines have shown evidence of being a good way to grow and protect your brain. And if you're looking for a way to get more oxygen flowing to your mind, be sure to check out Mindful Cardio in the Move tab. I'm Dr. Yuande Pierce. Thank you very much for watching.